InDesign Image Catalog will make an InDesign layout for you from images and graphics in folders or from a selection of files. To start, press the select button to choose a folder that has images. I'll choose go-karting. You'll see it has a subfolder. There's five pictures here in the main folder. It's found five files, but if I want to include the images in the subfolder, I can just check on that box and it'll update the number of images found. Tell it how many columns and rows of pictures that you'd like to have. Give it a title if you'd like to use the title. And press Create Catalog. You'll see InDesign come to the front, draw boxes, place the images in the title bar, and there's my catalog. Each of the images placed with the file name underneath. InDesign Image Catalog can use alias files as well. So let's say I'd like to make a catalog that has these orange labeled files and they're all in different folders here. I can hold command option and drag these files to a different folder and it'll make the finder will make aliases for me. Now I can select this folder with these four files. And because they're in different folders originally, I'd like to know where they come from. I'm going to choose the large text frame options and to include the complete file path and their scaling factor. I know they're big images, so I'm going to choose a different document preset. I'll choose a tabloid layout that I have made already. Make sure I give it the title that I'd like and create. Here's my layout. Looks like I didn't need to have so much space for all the text frames, but it does give me the full path of where these files are and their size that they're placed. One's placed at 66, one's placed at 90, and one's placed at 99. I can choose files that are in different folders directly in in design image catalog. If I press command F, I can pick some files from another folder. I can just select two files individually like that. I could go into this folder and select two or three of them. If I use the list view in the open dialog box, any folder that you can fold down using the little arrow, you can select files with. So the top two images here, but only these two images here. My display says individual files have been selected and it shows me four files and I'll keep some of these same options here. I'm, go I'm going to open up a previous catalog that I had made and show you how easy it is to change the look of the catalog after it's been made. All the objects in a layout in image catalog use paragraph and object styles. If I wanted to change the font for either the title bar or the label underneath, I can just go to the paragraph styles, choose my basic character, I'll choose a different font, Myriad Pro, uh, let's make it black, italic, and uh, 14 point. And you can see the label underneath each of the images changes because they all use the label style. Same thing for header. Let's choose Nidian, 18 point, extra bold. Header changes on all the pages. The object styles let you change the appearance of the boxes themselves. So if I wanted to change the image box, I can double click on that and I could change the fill color to something obnoxious like yellow or magenta. Maybe I need to see some transparency that's going on like underneath of the bottom of the tire perhaps. I could change the stroke by default. You get a one point black stroke. I could change it to a huge cyan stroke 
for any reason that I wanted to. I could change the look of the text label underneath of each of the images. Could fill that with cyan or maybe something nice, just like a 15% gray. And there's how you can adjust all the options of an InDesign catalog layout very quickly after it's made. Just use the object styles and the paragraph styles. And those are the main functions of InDesign Image Catalog. Thanks for watching.